Greetings and welcome back to Domination with Christopher. We are in war against the Fair Fire Alliance. I can't even remember if there's Jedi here anymore. They get destroyed all the time. No, I think they're just top. Yeah, no, they're just top. It is what it is. 30 versus 30. Uh, I am ranked number 7. We are going on our mirrors. And I've got something fancy to show you. One seventy two global, which is actually in and around the same exact same level as me, um, but I'm fairly certain that he's a little bit more selectively upgraded. So I'm anticipating that there's going to be some stuff. One of the first things I noticed though was his generals are not coming out of there, <laughs> uh, so I don't even have to worry about a sabotage on that. I can save my sabotage. It's usually elsewhere. At least I don't think they're coming out of there. I was trying to determine whether or not the wall actually goes all the way behind right here. And I'm fairly certain it does. I can kind of see it a little bit behind there. Um, so I, I do feel, and they're only level 10 generals anyway, so I'm not extremely concerned about that. Um, so the plan, we are going to go with, my mercs are coming in right here. I've got one tank. So tanks, generals, I'm going to let them both take some mortar fire uh, in order to create a little bit of distance. I've got howitzers. Uh, as a result, I'm going to drop those immediately afterwards. Uh, probably shooters <laughs> and then howitzers and then the rest of my troops. Um, I intend by that point, hopefully, that I'll be able to possibly betray something that pops out of there, like a flampanzer. That'd be nice to have an extra flying panzer. Uh, this all looks very trappy in here. However, the intention is to actually do a rally right up in this corner. So we've got Mercs, we're gonna call it M. We've got a double drop point. My sabotage is probably going to go right about there. I've also got a Blitzkrieg that I can use if necessary, uh, depending on how fast things are spitting out, etc, etc. So that's the plan. Uh, from there, I think we're probably going to just see if we can't work our way around, probably rally somewhere out here, um, or we'll burn through. They're level 9 walls for the most part, but it is a fairly widespread base. Oh, and he's put some stuff up here for us to kill. So we've got some cleanup crew. We've got some cleanup crew to get that stuff done. But I don't forecast... I can't see anything short of like university research or something funky going on. Just from being extremely off the charts, so to speak. So we are going with three triplanes, three shock infantry, 34 riflemen, two heavy tanks, three supply trucks, six art, or I'm going to say artillery now for the next month, six howitzers, uh, and two machine gunners. They're not heavy machine gunners, but they're machine gunners. Mercenaries, uh, I do have two flampanzers and two of the elephant archer armies. You'll see that I've got six out of five available there. Plus, I've got my three that are considered, you know, tactics. Uh, I've got my Blitzkrieg, a couple of betrayals, three sabotage, one protect. Generals, I am going with, oh, Joan and MacArthur. Alliance troops, I've got a few more howitzers and some shooters. Those guys are sneaky, too. They've got berets. And Queen's Royal Riflemen. They're the ones with five. And then some generic riflemen. Double check that I am back on seven. And have fun staring at the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. Marla's watching. 
Hi Marla. Whoop whoop! There it is. I, I'm happy about that. I think that was that was good. Was that good? That was good. Yeah. Whoop. I lost 27 <laughs> riflemen. They're not very tough. I mean, let's let's be honest. Really, it's the planes that help out. Sticks on the ice. Have a good time. Oh, here, sorry. Keep your sticks on the ice. Have a good time. Yeah, there we go. 